your girl alicia pink and welcome back to my channel but if you are new here welcome to my channel okay taurus this is your reading so we are going to just jump right into it guys we are going to be asking our spirit guides and our angels um ancestors what is going to be the energy for the week ahead for november the third till november the 10th guys so go right along ahead and take your three deep mindful breaths and ask spirit ask your angels ask your guides what message um messages you have for the week ahead what uh can you look out for what energies is going to be surrounding you so go right along ahead if you want to you can pause this video and you can just ask your guides your ancestors your archangels for your highest greatest purpose and good but messages okay guys this is for taurus taurus my lovely lovely taurus And I hope you guys enjoyed your full moon, blue moon. I hope you guys did some releasing, releasing rituals and all that good stuff, Taurus. I hope you guys did some releasing rituals. Okay. Alrighty. We got some extra cards as well over here. I'm just going to put them to the side. Okay, so what you got taurus you got the five of swords the ace of cups three of the seven of swords ten of wands and five of cups you also got nine of swords ten of cups and surprise surprise the moon okay we're gonna start with the moon your moon was um the blue moon was in taurus so I feel like you guys have most definitely done some releasing work this week. If you haven't done some releasing work, um, you know, you can do releasing work. Well, the next full moon is actually going to be by the end of the month, but you can still do some releasing work and still, uh, you know, meditate, do some releasing work. And then you have five of swords. The five of swords you might have been doing a little bit uh battling maybe yeah i feel like you have done the releasing work this full moon you have done the releasing work this full moon and um you have a little bit of bit of a tough time with that and but spirit wants to most definitely offer you a overflow of abundance and um then you have the three of discs so this week i feel like people are most definitely going to be recognizing you this week and want to work with you this week and because you know they see that you have been doing the work that you have been doing the shadow work that you have been doing your release and rituals so they most definitely want to work with you this week but you also have the seven of swords so i still feel like even though you are getting offers um someone to want to work with you you still have to make sure that the people that want to work with you or want to offer you a deal because you know it is the end of mercury retrograde but still be careful because uh you still don't want to take on anything new just new this week because even though it's the end of mercury retrograde you still don't want to be too you still want to be careful okay and then you have 10 of wands i feel like whatever you're working on it's going to come in fruition. It is going to come in fruition. You're still going to be working hard at it. You still want to have to work hard, hard at it because it's not going to be easy. And then you have the five of cups. The five of cups, you know, you might be feeling a little a down this week, but because of the ten of wands, whatever you have been working on, you feel like, oh my God. I keep working, I'm tired, I keep working, I'm tired, but Spirit wants you to show more gratitude. You might need to show more gratitude this week. And then you also have the Nine of Swords and then you have the Ten of Cups. So, you know, with the Nine of Swords, 
you might be overthinking this week. This is also election. This is the day of the election, guys. So you might be feeling a little stressful out. You know, this is a very intense energy. You know, you have a lot of swords energy right away. So this is very intense energy. And a lot of the... Uh, probably been, been overthinking a lot of things lately. But fret not. You also have the Ten of Cups. You know, the Ten of Cups abundance is most definitely on the way. You know, you, this by the end of the 10th Tuesday, you're going to be feeling a lot more happier, more abundant. You know, because sometimes, sometimes, you know, you know, your manifestations is upon you is when you are going through a tough time when you are going through a tough time you know a lot of people are like oh my god you know everybody everything isn't always sunshine and rainbows okay guys everything isn't always sunshine and rainbows but you know that your manifestation is on the way when you um start suffering sometimes it's like the calm before the storm the calm before the storm okay so let's get from that's what i'm getting from spirit the calm before the storm the storm so let's get some um some uh clarifications for my tourists this week clarification for tourists this week Clarification for Taurus this week. Let me get some clarification for the seven of stories. What do Taurus need to look out for this week? What do Taurus need to look out for this week? Okay. You got the eight of cups. So I feel like with you Taurus that you most definitely the moon. I feel like you want to be walking away from things that doesn't serve you for sure. Um, you might get a deal offer. You might, I feel like with this, the three of this, you might get a deal, um, an offer to work with somebody, but you figure out that the person that wants to work with you is not who they, you thought they were, thought they were. And then eventually you walk away from that deal. That's what I'm getting. That's what I believe that's going to be happening. This week, let's get some clarification for um, the Ten of Wands. Clarification for Ten of Wands. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles. Okay, for the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, the hard work is most definitely going to pay off. Whatever you've been working at, the hard work is going to pay off. And then you have the Nine of Cups, Four or Five of Cups. You have two Nines. Wow, two nine of cups. Hello, no, this is ten. You have <laughs> said two nine of cups. This is actually ten, but it's still beautiful. You have nine of cups and you have ten of cups. So yes, your abundance is most definitely on its way. This screams abundance. This screams abundance. So your abundance is on its way. You know, um, by you walking away from whoever's trying to like this deal. Maybe it could be a new job promotion that you thought that you wanted. Maybe you manifested something that you thought you wanted, but it turns out to be something that you didn't want. And um, by you walking away from this, maybe you might, I don't know, maybe you're walking away from a job. Maybe you're walking away from a deal that you've been trying to get out of. I don't know, but it's something that you're walking away from something that did not serve you and you was like okay i'm done and by you doing that in the beginning it's going to be hard it's going to be hard you're going to be working your butt off but you will reap the benefits you will get the rewards and um you know you're going to be feeling a little like oh my god did i you probably be going back and forth like in your head like oh my god did i make the right decision did i make the right decision like what's going on that's why i feel like that's why you got the um the nine you still got two nines here so that's why i feel like you got the nine of swords because you are overthinking things like oh my god did i make the right decision did i make the right decision why did i just walk away from that all that money why did i walk away from that deal like what is going on with me why did i walk away from that job why i don't have anything set in stone what am i doing 
but abundance is on its way for you the end abundance is on its way so yeah that is your reading Taurus for the week ahead um we are going to do some affirmations for you guys some affirmations for Taurus okay some affirmations for Taurus let me just collect these cards all right what affirmations for Taurus this week affirmations for Taurus this week one more affirmation for Taurus this week affirmation for Taurus this week one more affirmation for Taurus this week one more affirmation for Taurus this week okay so you got I am focused I am ambitious and I am alive so I am focused I focus on achieving my goals through deliberate action I take time to feel how it would feel to achieve my dreams i visualize my desire through a lens of love and happiness i am focused then you have i am ambitious i put my goals and ideas into action i take a leap of faith yes taurus you will be taking a leap of faith with that turning down that deal <laughs> i think you most definitely going to be taking a leap of faith and i believe in myself when I put my heart's desire into action, it is for the good of all those involved. I am ambitious and then you have, I am alive. I honor my life by letting go, dancing, singing, and feeling the fullness of my joyful energy. I am more true self. When I am my true self, when I am having fun, I am alive. Okay, so let's get some more affirmations for my Taurus affirmations for my Taurus see what the universe wants to tell you Taurus see what the universe wants to tell you Taurus affirmation for Taurus affirmation for Taurus affirmation for Taurus Affirmation for Taurus. Affirmation for Taurus. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So you got my capacity to tune in to energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost. Through, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So go within this week, Taurus. Do some meditation work, some mindful meditation work. Stop overthinking things. You know, ob obstacles are detours in the right direction. And we're going to get, see, obstacles are detours in the right directions. Hello, this goes right along with your reading, Taurus. Um, by you walking away from things that don't serve you, you know, when one door closes, another one open. Okay, so you might feel like, oh my God, or maybe you went on a job interview and you didn't get the job, but and you probably feeling a little stressed out about it, but um, sometimes no is a blessing in disguise. And I truly feel like you, that was the best decision for you, Taurus. So don't even think about it. Don't think about the positive. Don't think about the negative. Just focus on the positive. And trust me, abundance is most definitely on its way for you. You're going to get something bigger and better. So what is the overall message for Taurus? 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 The overall message, overall positive affirmation that Taurus can use this week. Okay, overall message for Taurus. 
glorious. <laughs> okay, set. Okay, I'm just gonna pick one card actually. Okay, connection. I am connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather related stuff. <laughs> Okay, Taurus, that is your reading. I hope that you liked it. I hope it resonated with you in any way. If it did not, remember this is a general message, so it might resonate, right now resonate with you per se. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on Instagram for more daily tarot card readings, pick a card readings as well. Also, I am doing personal readings. And if you want to book a reading with me, all my information, contact information is down below. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.